Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Man, let's look at the bet nods for this uh this pay-per-view event with uh Sean Porter and Earl Spence Jr. that's coming up um uh, with this Saturday, September uh, 28th, 2019. Um at the Staples Center in Las Vegas, California. Okay, it's gonna be a pay-per-view fight. Uh it looks like a decent card to me. From what I'm looking at, it looks like a decent card, man. You know, so they got David Benavidez. And, uh, like I said, you got Sean Porter versus Earl Spence. You got uh, Mario Barrios versus some other guy. And then you got Jacito Lopez versus John um, John, John Molina. So, um, yeah, man, let's start off with uh, Jacito Lopez and John uh, Molina. Um, yeah, man, I'll, I, you know... Me being a bet man, I, I I'll take John, you know, Molina any day as an underdog, man. I'll take him as an underdog versus Hasito Lopez. Both of these guys are shot worn. Uh, they've taken some beat downs, but um, outside of um, Hasito Lopez looking good versus Keith Thurman, you know, he didn't get the win. I almost don't count, you know, as far as the knock, knock uh, knockout is concerned. Okay. But we know with John John Molina, he has beaten Mickey Bay, uh, Ruslan, uh, um, oh man, Ruslan Provotnikov, if I'm saying his name right. Uh, he got Ivan, uh, Red, Red, Red Check, uh, Red, I like, I, I say Redneck, but it's not Ivan Redneck, but it's close. Ivan Red Check or whatever his name is. Man, he got Ivan out of there, man. Ivan was laying up on the ropes, and John John Molina came with that right hand, man. And uh, he got that knockout. So out of the th 30 wins he's he's gotten, uh, John John Molina, he, he has gotten 24 knockouts, okay? So he can get the upset. Um, John John Molina versus, uh, you know, even competition. The dude's showing a, a good jab and, you know, a right hand. Um, you could say Hasito Lopez, you know, he's 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 decent, you know, got decent defense. Um, I guess, you know, has a pretty decent, uh, you know, one-two combination, but he doesn't have a great defense, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, as far as him having, like, a decent defense, uh, I mean, you know, he's defensively responsible, but, I mean, it, the dude always gets, like, be, beat up, man. And uh, John John Molina, too. John John Molina, too. You know, he takes, you know, he takes some lickings up in there, too. And, but um, he's only been knocked out, what, twice? You know, he's been stopped twice. Uh, Lucas Matisse took him out. But he gave Lucas Matisse a run for his money, man. He knocked Lucas Matisse down uh, twice before Lucas Matisse took him out, you know. Uh, Lucas Matisse's experience and the su su uh, superior boxing skills uh, to care of John John Molina. But John uh, John Molina, he's he's a big dude, man. He's he, he's not he's not a small guy. Neither neither is uh, Hasacito Lopez. But um, yeah, I give John John Molina a chance in this fight. The, I mean, it's, it's plus 300. That's not bad. You know what I'm saying? That's plus 300. is not bad. Um, if you see here with uh, Anthony Jarrell versus David Benavidez, uh, David Benavidez, um, in this fight, you know, it's, it's, it's his fight to lose. It's his fight to lose. You know, Anthony Jarrell, the dog, I mean, and he, he's got to punch his chance. You know, he's a veteran. He's got to punch his chance. But um, I don't know what the parlay is, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, the props. I don't know what the props are uh, on this fight. But uh, I will look at the props and uh, try to pick which round David Benavidez is going to knock out Anthony Durrell. They looking to knock each other out, man. I saw them go head to head. I think it was on, on Fox, uh, some, some, I don't know, PBC or something like that on YouTube. Um, you know, they gave a lot of, you know, each other respect, but they, you know, they're looking to hurt each other, you know what I'm saying? These two, two main dudes, they, they're looking to hurt each other, and David Benavidez, he, he said a long time ago, uh, even before he got his belt, man, he's looking to make a statement, I think it's, uh, versus, uh, um, 
Porky Medina. We knocked out Porky Medina, man, right after that, man. He was like, man, I'm looking to make a statement. And he has a lot to prove, man, ever since that suspension he had for, like, uh, popping hot for cocaine. You know, he's trying to get his uh, it's a championship fight, man. He's trying to get his belt back. And uh, so Anthony Jarrell is defending his belt, but you see here he's a big underdog. So, um, yeah, man, uh, you really can't put nothing on David Benavidez, man. You're going to have to look at the uh, props and see if they got any props anywhere. But, uh, yeah, so moving on to Sean Porter versus Earl Spence. Uh, we know Sean Porter. He's been around for a long time, a.k.a. Showtime. Uh, Earl Spence, you know, <laughs> you know, man down, you know what I'm saying? You know the moniker, man down. But, um, yeah, man, Sean Porter, man, he's faced, what, Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Ugas, Yo Dennis, I think it's Yo Dennis, Ugas, um, uh, what was it, Diaz, what was it, Joel uh, Diaz, or when he was first coming up, um, yeah, man, he's, uh, uh, Alberto, you know, the dude's facing, you know, some good competition, Sean Porter, man. Adrian Broner, he beat Adrian Broner. But, um, yeah, man, Sean, uh, Kell Brook, you know, he fought Kell Brook. He lost his belt, you know, defending his belt versus Kell Brook. But Sean Porter always been game, man. Every fight, you, you know he's a gritty dude. Um, you know he can switch it up. Uh, you, you know he's got a jab. You know he can get grimy when he needs to. And... Uh, 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 I think I, I think the best the best he did was uh, as far as his performance. Um, now, mind you, he he went he went up and he beat Danny Garcia and he fought Keith Thurman. You know, young guys um, that are pretty much on the level of uh, Earl Spence. You know, what I'm saying the guys that have have been champions. Um, especially with Danny being at 140, you know, champion 140, um, had a belt at what, what I believe 147 and, and whatnot. And Sean Porter's, you know, he's faced a lot of competition. So this is a wor worthy opponent. Uh, maybe the plus 500 is a little bit too much, but we have to remember, uh, Earl Spence, he didn't, he went up against Mikey Garcia. I know Mikey Garcia is a good, you know, he's a very sound uh, boxer, you know, very skilled fighter, um, counter puncher and everything like that. But Earl Spence didn't take him out, man. Earl Spence didn't take him out. Earl Spence, uh, struggle, you know, versus, you know, Kell Brook. And, um, uh, it's been many of fights, man. I've seen Earl Spence get touched up, man. You know what I'm saying? He's been touched up. Um, oh, my bad, man, for the noise, man, my bad. But, um, yeah, he's been touched up in a few fights, man. Um, I, I, I'm trying to think of this one fighter he, he fought. Or the dude kept on sneaking in, uh, you know, overhand rights. And Sean Porter, I mean, uh, Earl Spence Jr., he was just, you know, eating these right hands, man. But then again, he was going against a smaller fighter. And if Earl Spence Jr. doesn't uh, feel as if he can hurt him, he really doesn't, re you know, respect what's coming back at him. But um, yeah, with Kell Brook, he was definitely eating, you know, um, you know, eating those, uh, eating the lead hand and everything like that. And uh, with Kell Brook, man, Kell Brook was just able to. The thing with Kell Brook is that Kell Brook uh, stopped stopped moving. You know what I'm saying? He he stopped moving. Kell Brook is pretty good at like fighting in the pocket. Um you know, spinning his guy and stuff like that and fighting in, in the pocket. And um, you saw what he did versus, uh, you know, Triple G. You know, he was looking good, man, boxing and everything with the movement and everything. And I believe that's what um, is going to give Earl Spence Jr. some problems facing Sean Porter. I think it's the movement. Now, Earl Spence Jr., um, if you ask me, has been playing the psychological mind game with Sean Porter, talking about, oh, uh, you know, you got to watch out for the headbutts, and this guy fights dirty and everything like that. Um, I think he's just trying to get in Sean Porter's head, saying the only way he can fight is, uh, you know, fighting on the inside. I don't know. He's trying to goad him into fighting on the inside. But to me, in my, uh, in my uh, opinion, 
I think Earl Spence Jr. is like a, trying to invite you know Sean Porter to fight in on the inside. He, I mean, I, if you ask me, I think he'll be best served by having Sean Porter come to him instead of uh, chasing him down because Sean Porter, you know, he's very athletic. Um, you know, has uh, you know, decent uh length. Uh, even though he's giving up two inches in height. The dude has a decent, you know, length for as far as arm length compared to his uh, height and everything like that. Him being five seven, uh, him going against Earl Spence uh, Jr., who's uh, what five nine, has a seventy two inch reach and everything. But his performance versus Ugas let kind of let me know that uh, Sean Porter is, can be multi dimensional if he he needs to be, and I, I think he's gonna pick and choose the spots when to fight on the inside and, you know, fight on the outside, man. And I think he's going to give Earl Spence Jr. Um, a run for his money, man. Don't be su don't be surprised um, if Sean Porter beats Earl Spence Jr. on points with the foot movement and everything like that. Um, and don't be surprised if Sh Sean Porter is able to catch, you know, Earl Spence Jr., you know, slipping because the dude is a southpaw, and his 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 um his Achilles heel is uh if you ask me the the left hook on the inside, and a whole overhand right com coming in from the uh the out outside man. Um. Damn man, I'm trying to think of the fighter who who was landing these good punches, man. I'm not sure if it was the overhand left or the overhand right, but I th I want to believe it was the overhand left that was catching him in this one fight versus uh that one dude, man. The one dude that fought Ruslan Pavatnikov and uh, got the one. Um, who's a trainer right now, man? Who fought Sean Porter, man? I forgot his darn name. Jeez Louise. But anyway, man, the dude was catching on with some overhand lefts because he was uh, putting his lead foot on outside of um, Earl Spence Jr.'s uh, lead foot. And he was dipping and throwing that overhand left at the same time. And he kept catching Earl Spence with that overhand left, man. And then if you see in the Lin uh the Bundu fight with Earl Spence Jr., he was catching old boy. Man, he was he was he was catching Earl Spence on the ins uh inside with those left hooks, man. Um let's look old boy up, man. I know he's here somewhere, man. Let me see if I can find this dude. Uh, let's see. I know the guy's name, man. The truth. What's his name? Truth Man Down. Yeah, Chris Algieri. That's who it is, man. Chris Algieri. Yeah, go ahead and check out that fight. Chris Algieri is landing some good punches on Earl Spence Jr. in that fight, man. Chris Algieri. So, uh, just based on that, man, I think, um, what's his name? Give him a run for his money. Sean Porter, man. So, I'm going with the... Uh, Sean Porter, man. I'm putting some money on Sean. I don't think it will hurt. Plus five, uh, 550. That's not bad. Let me know what y'all think, man. All right, but.